hey 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 welcome back to my channel so as you can see from the title today i'm going to show you one of my favorite dishes now this is going to come in handy if you want to show your cooking skills when you've got some visitors if you've got visitors coming over and you want to show the chef in you this should be on the menu now what am i talking about i'm talking about fried mashed potatoes with mozzarella filling and i must say i am 100 percent sure you are going to love this so if you want to show off your cooking skills keep watching this video so first of all i'll get a bowl and break an egg into it i'll come in with my favorite seasoning I'll come in with some salt to taste. Next, I'll come in with a pinch of dark soy sauce. I'll whip everything up and set it aside for later. Next, I'll get my breadcrumbs. Come in with a little bit of seasoning to taste. I'll drop in some black pepper. Come in with some nutmeg. Then, I'll mix everything up. You are going to need some mozzarella and as you can see I have here those little cute mozzarellas. Depending on how much you want, you can use more or you can use less. As you can see, I have about 9 of them here. You are going to need some cooked potatoes and as you can see I cut mine into pieces. Now I'll come in with my potato masher and fill it up. So I'll just mash the potatoes into a bowl. I must say I used about 3 medium sized potatoes. I'll transfer the mashed potatoes into a bigger bowl. I'll come in with about 10 tablespoons full of breadcrumbs. I must say this is not the breadcrumbs I did mix at the beginning. This is just pure breadcrumbs. Next, I'll come in with some spring onions to give it some extra flavor. I'll break in an egg. I'll come in with about 4 to 5 tablespoons full of grated parmesan. Now, I'm going to mix everything up. You are going to notice I did not add any salt. This is because the parmesan is very salty, so you have to be careful. So as you can see, it's well mixed over here and I love the consistency. I must tell you the breadcrumbs is to help it, you know, harden up a little bit. If you mash only potatoes, it's going to be too soft and it's going to explode in the oil. So I'll set this aside for later. I must say we'll be doing this on medium to high fire. So I'll take a piece of my potato mixture and come in with one piece of the mozzarella. I will cover it up and try to make it into a bowl. So basically this is what I'm going to do till I use up my mozzarella. So after covering everything up, this is what we have here. Now I'll put my egg mixture and my breadcrumbs mixture side by side. I'll take a bowl and dip it into the egg mixture. Afterwards, I'll transfer it into the breadcrumbs mixture. I will coat it up and make sure it's very well covered. And this is what I'll do to the remaining bowls. So after coating all the balls, this is what we have here. So by this time, my oil is very hot, so I'll just drop in the balls. This is going to take about four to five minutes in total to cook. You don't have to cook it for so long. When it starts browning at the other side, just flip them over and cook the other side too. So when it turns golden brown, it is ready. So as you can see, it is ready, so I'll just take them out of the oil. So ladies and gentlemen, it is ready. Doesn't it look so good? And when you open it up, the melted mozzarella is going to ooze out like that. Okay guys, so I hope you did enjoy this video and I really hope you are going to give this a try because it's so, so tasty. And as you can see, it's so easy to make. 
if you do try this let me know in the comment section how it came out for you if you've not subscribed please don't forget to hit the subscribe button don't forget to share this with family and friends and don't forget to leave me a thumbs up until next time i am going to see you again with another nice and interesting one bye bye